Oh, I think we're very loyal people. We, we love our town and our, and our area. Without dairy, none of us would be here. The dairy industry here is of course over 100 years old, so multi-generational and 40% of Tasmania's dairy is produced here and with two factories as well. It is so important to the fabric of supporting sporting clubs, uh, the service clubs and of course the schools. There's no doubt the dairy industry has been the, the, the lifeblood of the community right, right from scratch. Smithton farms are getting bigger and there's more robotics. Dairy is, is just such an integral part of, of the community. When you look at the employment and, and the growth of the dairy industry over the, the years that it's been here, it's progressive. It's just exciting times for our area. We've had well over 100 students studying agriculture here, studying specifically dairy of course, and it's so exciting to see students coming through and learning and coming out of here with so much enthusiasm for the dairy industry. I'm really passionate about encouraging the next generation and getting the kids coming in through the schools, seeing the opportunities that there are in dairy farming. Running Cows Create Careers program, I teach it as part of science. My goal as, as the leader of that is to show kids what it takes to be a really good farmer. So we get calves on site and uh, kids get to uh, do all the things like feed and weigh the calves. For, from my view as a teacher, I think it'd just be beautiful to see um, this next generation take that on. A few years back we had a very challenging time uh, for our dairy industry and that was when we had such a high rainfall for the winter. Our prices were down. I think the milk price dropped by 28%. We had to think beyond the square, you know, we had to try and come up with other ways of making every, everything we did a winner. They were certainly set some challenges and our community came together to help support them. Um, businesses supported them, um, community groups supported them. There were a lot of um, people put gifts together and things like that that actually were handed out and taken out to, to the different um, uh, people that were really struggling. They virtually set up a committee to try and support the dairy farmers. There were people who were assigned to phone, phone various farmers and just say, are you okay? Is there anything we can do? Would you like us to come out and have a chat to you? You, you get that support 100%. No one is left by themselves. We know that families aren't by themselves, that everyone will look after everyone else when times are tough. What we want to do with the money is take our kids out to the community uh, and, and run like a, a dairy sort of camp. We're planning a trip uh, around Circular Head, stopping in at farms. I just want to show them basically what it's about and talk to some passionate people. There's stories to be told and I want those stories to, to be passed on to the younger generations. Smithton has it all. Just awesome bushwalking, awesome, um, you know, we've got, we're right on the coast so we, we've got beaches everywhere. That's why we moved back in a way because it's a great, great place to raise kids. We have a strong community that looks after itself but are hard working as well. Thank you.